daytime on the beach. Look at them, enjoying their novelties and their relative safety. Yeah, sure, I could be one of them. I could enjoy relative safety too, but I'm not. I'm me. They say nothing is more dangerous than a tiger shark. They call them the people killers, leg eaters, the terror of the open water. I call them surfing buddies. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I thought it was a cool announcement trailer. Yeah, it was something all right. But that wasn't a tiger shark. That was a great white. Yeah, I changed it to a tiger shark in the script. Everyone uses great whites. We need to stand out. Well, I'm not changing my art. You fix your script, Kevin. Tiger sharks aren't even as dangerous as great whites. Oh, you can train them to run contraband, though. Wait, really, Joan? And look, it's still a shark. That's the important thing. All right, circle up, everyone. As you all know, we announced Surfing with Sharks today. Reception has been wonderful. The internet loves it. That's totally not true, but it's good for morale to tell you that. Now, I know it's been a rough few weeks for you all. We faced hard deadlines, crashing builds, technical downtime. And Javier exploded, too. Don't forget about Javier. His desk has been covered in blood all week. Look, I'm sure he's fine. Also, this meeting isn't about Javier. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you all about. Javier. Huh? Yeah, a week is a long time without an animator, so... I'm happy to introduce to you all Midge, our new animator. So, Javier's not coming back. Explosions will do that. That bastard still owes me ten bucks. Okay, look, everyone, it's company policy not to talk about Javier anymore. Midge is the new Javier. Everyone say hello. Hi, Midge. Hi, uh, I thought this was for an interview. This is Shovelworks Studios, right? Midge here comes highly recommended. Anything Javier could do, <laughs> I'm sure she could handle. Just make her feel welcomed. Any questions? Yeah, what do we do about all the people outside? People? What people? I don't know. A crowd of people just showed up a few minutes ago. God damn it, why does this always happen to us? Well, don't make eye contact and maybe they'll go away. I don't know. Kevin, you deal with it. And make sure Midge is all set up. Back to work, everyone. Well, I guess it's been a few months. I wonder what they want this time. Last time, it was because our game didn't have a sewer level. <laughs> yeah, I'm not changing my mind on that one. Not every game needs a sewer level. <sighs> guess I'll see how good the noise canceling is on my headphones. All right. Well, Midge, uh, I'm not sure what Jeb wants me to do with you. I'm not even on the art team. Just so you know, I wasn't kidding. I was told by the recruiter that this was literally supposed to be an interview. Well, we work quick. Some might say rush. Pylon, any ideas on how to handle the fans outside? Uh, bribery? Mm, can't afford that. They sure don't look like fans out there. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't keep coming by every few months if they weren't passionate about our games. Look, Midge, why don't you, uh, go meet your coworkers while Pylon and I brainstorm? You'll probably be working a lot with Viper, so be sure to say hello to him. Oh, uh, all right? Come back once you've said hello to a few people. My name's Pylon. Did you know that the latest build is always hooked up to the TV? You can try it out any time. Probably shouldn't rummage around through these. At least not on my first day. Wow. Jeb has a very big desk with very little on it. Look, I can't promise I'll remember your name, but that's okay. I've got a lot of thinking going on up here about boss things. Why don't you go say hi to some of your teammates? I've never seen a game studio with a dumbwaiter. 
Guess they really don't want anyone going through this door. Big design ideas. An end? Huh. This must be that green guy's desk. Seems to really like pale yellow green. Developers here? No, I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Hi, I'm Joan. I've been working in the industry since the 90s, but I've only been here a few years. I'm Midge. I've apparently been working here for 10 minutes. I really thought it would be harder to get this job. Oh dear, no. You haven't read much about our studio, have you? Not really, no. Well, you'll learn. We have a bit of a reputation. Oh, okay. Good morning, New England. Welcome to the Dice Bag, bringing you film, game, and culture news non-stop, at least until the station break. Hey, you hear that Shovelwork Studios is making another game? Oh god, not again. Is this another turnstile jumper game? No, I don't think so. No one wants your crappy turnstile jumper game, Shovelworks. I never got to try it. Was it really that bad? Are you kidding me? It was the worst. Literally, the worst game. This looks like a map of the studio. That's handy. Okay, this guy didn't really explode. Did he? Can that actually happen? I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. I'm the best there is at what I do, and I don't suffer incompetent fools. Are you incompetent? Hi, Viper. I'm Midge, and no, I don't think so. I'll be the judge of that. Look, if you're gonna fill in Javier's shoes in animating my masterpieces, then you need to prove to me you know what you're doing, okay? A good pose is crucial to properly showing off my work. I have a lot of action figures, mostly from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. Show me you know how to make badass poses by posing them! This is Bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, <laughs> sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four.
Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me. So... You know, Bloody Chuck from Sweaty Blood has a lot of enemies, but Baron Von Browblood is his arch nemesis. Every hero needs an arch nemesis, okay? Looks like it just goes to a supply closet. That's quite a crowd. I wonder if this happens often to them. Hi, Midge. Welcome to the studio. First, don't listen to anything Kevin tells you. He's a lying, heartless bastard. Second, we don't have the budget for a new computer, so you'll have to use Javier's station. I guess that makes sense. It's still covered in blood, but you can worry about that later. Oh, all right. Hey, Midge. If you haven't seen it already, I drew you a map of the area. You can find it on the table in the middle of the office. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, look, no offense, uh, Midge, was it? I'm trying to get some stuff done. Yeah, we keep our foam dart guns in there. This looks like the audio room. They may be recording in there. There's a note here. Warning, Sally is feisty today. Huh, I wonder which one Sally is. Whoa, this thing needs to be cleaned. Hey, cool. A MIT-32C graphing gaming device. Been years since I saw one of these. about the last animator. Oh, Javier? Uh, right. So, should I be worried about what happened to him? Oh, no. Spontaneous combustion just happens sometimes. Animators just do that, you know? It's the stress. Can I have his chair? What? No. That's going to be Midge's chair. I don't think people just explode. There's no time for dwelling on the past. We need to think of a way to deal with those people outside. Why should she get the good chair? I've been here much longer. Can't you just go talk to them? <laughs> Talking never solves anything. Oh, maybe we can camouflage the studio. Or hire a velociraptor. Look, I'm just gonna go ask them what they want. Wow, this is a big crowd. Where did you all come from? Oh, a developer. This is the New England chapter of the Global Internet Fandom Coalition. This is what we do. We're a mobile fan club. Really? Shovelworks Studios has their own fan club. Of course not. We're a generic group. We go where we're needed. Today was slow and Linda loves sharks. It's true! So you're fans of... sharks? Yes, absolutely. At least today. Did you really think you could pass off a great white as a tiger shark? Great whites have pointy heads! I mean, seriously, has the game industry lost all reason? Hey everyone, what do we want? It's the shark! Yes! Fix the shark! Oh, wanna buy a t-shirt? It's 100% cotton. Um, no, not really. <laughs> Your loss. Look, you think you can get away with everything. 
Well, you got a choice. Either fix that shark or cancel the game. <laughs> cancel the game? We can't do that. It's just starting to come together. Maybe you could just fix the shark. No, it must be a tiger shark. Tigers are cool. Yeah, canceling things would totally compromise our vision. Pylon, hey! What? They're right. It's a great white, not a tiger shark. And it's a cool shirt. Okay, so tell me about this game. Ah, you're intrigued. Excellent. You know your Endless Runner games, right? Those mobile titles where you always race to the right and tap to jump over things and, and try and last as long as you can? Yeah, so it's like that. It's an Endless Runner, but the twist is... Wait for it. There's an end. That's it? You're making an endless runner with an end? I call it an endful runner. Or maybe just endy runner? Well, whatever. The community is ultimately who decides a new subgenre's name. We just have to make the game no one realized they wanted. I love making games no one wants. So, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm the best fit for this place. It seems a bit intense. Oh, you'll get used to it. Everyone here is great. With the exception of Viper. And all of the engineers. And the boss. And the tiger shark. And the occasional spontaneous combustion of animators. But otherwise, it's great. Also, look, we need you, Midge. This game, this is gonna be a hit. But only if we have a good animator. That's why Javier was so important. What's in the fridge? Free soda. Guys, they're getting restless out there. I don't think they're gonna leave on their own this time. Right. How do you calm down a crowd of fans? Well, everyone gets angry when they're hungry. Could we try feeding them? There's granola in the kitchenette, but that's not gonna go very far. I have a lot of ketchup. We can make ketchup granola stew. Seriously? That's revolting. Not if you add salsa. Salsa will give it body. Okay, okay. Granola, ketchup, and salsa. Does anyone know how to cook? Oh, I do. Does anyone except for Pylon know how to cook? I could do it, team. I could do it. Okay, look. Why don't both of you handle this? Wait. Uh, okay. Do something with this coffee. We need coffee, even bad coffee, any coffee. More pepper. We need coffee, even bad coffee, any coffee. Are things normally like this around here? Oh, nah. Some days get really weird. One more thing for the pot! One more thing for the pot! More ketchup coming up! Ooh, do something with this! We need coffee. Even bad coffee. Any coffee. Ooh, do something with this! Okay, stop the show, Pylon. What's with the tentacle? Oh, that's just Sally. She's harmless. Coffee, even bad coffee, any coffee. Take this.
We present spicy granola stew. Ah. Uh. Oh, how does it taste? Yeah, I'm not tasting that. Ugh, me neither. I think it's pretty good. And we can serve Reggie potato chips on the side. That's a good idea. Everyone loves Reggie potato chips. Okay, time to serve up some guests. Let's do this. <laughs> It wasn't that bad. Okay, that that was a terrible idea. Let me at him. I'll chase him off. Or you could change the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. Oh no. What's going on? Code red. Meter's down to two out of ten. What happened? What made it drop? Hey, hey, hey! We're in the news. Terrible game studio tries to poison upset fans. That's not true at all. Yeah, they're not our fans. It's the shark. It's the shark. It's the shark. If we fix the shark, will you stop being mad? You'll we'll always be mad. What? Why? Your game isn't as good as Witcher Three. Huh? Pylon, we're out of options. You don't mean what I think you mean, right? We have no choice. We need to ask the engineers for help. Mitch, quick! Go to the supply closet and get an intern! A what? An intern! We keep them in the supply closet. Francine has the key. Quick, Mitch! We need help! Francine has the key to the closet. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Let's check out that map. No, I can't do that. Can you tell Kevin to keep it down already? Uh, sure. Can you unlock the supply closet? I need to get something. Sure. Knock yourself out. The intern! Good work, Midge. Oh, hello, mentors! Uh, hi there, intern. I'm Midge. Why do we need them again? To convince the lead engineer to help us. The programming department only communicates by handwritten requests delivered via dumbwaiter with an offering. Do I get to work on the game now? Uh, sure. Look, Midge, we need to get them to the dumbwaiter. Right, okay. A dumbwaiter. You really think the lead engineer can talk some sense into the crowd? Oh, no, no, no. That's not safe. No one is allowed to talk to the engineers here. They've got barrel! But the lead engineer has other means to solve our problems. You'll see. Or you could just change the shark. What? Be reasonable, Midge. Mayday, Mayday, we got company! That's the last time you poison anyone with your food or your game. If you won't fix the shark, we will. We need to keep the intern away from the crowd. Toss him to me if they get close. For me. They're closing in. To me. Fix your game and this Yipe. will all be over, developers. Oh no, I wasn't expecting a boss fight. Ow, stop that. 
He's enraged. That makes him immune to pain. He's out of breath. Now's the time to hit him. Ow. Ow, Yipe! Hey, that hurt! He's really ticked off. Keep away from him! Throw the intern at him! Hey, that hurt! Me. Go! Get the payload to the target! I'll show you how you deal with a crowd! They're all yours, Viper! Go! Quick! To the dumbwaiter! Time for you to earn that paycheck you don't get, intern! Wait! He's the offering? We've done this before, Midge! Send him down, Pylon! The door! It's not gonna hold! What do we do? Hold on! Give them time! The lead engineer will do something! Just wait! On, do something. <laughs> Holy crap. Someone leaked costume photos for the Racer Chase movie adaptation. They got rid of Chase's unibrow. They can't do that. That's Chaser's defining trait! How dare they! Who do they think they are? All chapters mobilized. This is a code Foxtrot. Condition Omega. Pack it up, folks. Let's go! Racer Chase needs us! We will avenge this travesty! Don't they know how important unibrows are? They're heading out! <sighs> See? The lead engineer always finds a way. Hey, hey! Someone leaked news about the new Racer Chase movie! Ah, the old distraction trick. Clever. The lead engineer did that? The lead engineer works in mysterious ways. Oh my god! What happened to him? Quick, call for help! It's fine. They just have a lot of bones down there. How is that fine? How is any of this fine? We send one whenever we need something from the engineers. Schools just keep sending them to us. We're low right now, but we'll get another shipment eventually. Come buy a poker night! We use them as chips. Look, I could see past the thing with the animator and your fan club and the thing growing in the kitchen, and even the fact that this is apparently the worst game studio in existence. But this is too much. This is where I check out. I'm out of here. Midge, wait! Wait a sec! What? See that counter up there? Yeah, what about it? That's tied to an algorithm that takes into account focus testing, mock reviews, A-B results, and a hundred other factors in order to create a predictor of our expected score. It's just 3 out of 10. That's terrible. It is. We've never had any of our games score above 3 out of 10. But not anymore. Not with this project. This project is different. I thought review scores didn't matter anymore. They matter to the people I went to high school with. I will show them. This game will be a hit. Ugh. But it needs a good animator to tie it all together, Midge. Well, you'll have to find someone else. Midge, j just wait. So, just say it. This is all the tiger shark's fault. Wait, really? Well, why don't we just change the shark? Um. <laughs> Look, I can't do this. These people are terrifying. There's something growing in the refrigerator, and there is some sort of ritual involving interns, and who knows what's going on with their basement. You know that's not what we want to hear, Miss Potter. You had a role, and we had an agreement. Yeah, well, that agreement didn't mention half the crap going on in there. Your job was a simple one. The director will be disappointed, but not surprised. What does that mean? We've been assembling a file on you, Miss Potter. Your interests go far beyond animation. Some of those extracurricular activities you partake in, those come with long prison sentences. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure. Our file is quite interesting. Photos, videos, documents. 
Your local police department would find it fascinating. Is this blackmail? This is a friendly warning. You know what we're capable of. This is bigger than you and me, Ms. Potter. Go join them. Gain their trust. Work with them. But remember, they must never make a good game. They don't need me for that. I don't think you understand. This is the most important job you've ever had. If they make a good game, it will be the end of everything. <laughs>